Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more mystery crime riddles. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. A couple went on for the honeymoon trip, but only the husband returned from the vacation and said that his wife met an unfortunate accident and died. The police arrested him saying, your travel agent called, you murdered your wife. How did the agent know that it was a murder? Okay, so it has something to do with the travel agent. Maybe the guy was like, well, you two went together somewhere, but only you came back. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, huh, suspicious. Why did he return so fast? Hmm? I give up. What is it? The man had booked only one way tickets for his wife. Oh, because he knew she wasn't coming back anyways. Wow. Well, that's mean. A couple reported a robbery. The husband told the policeman that he thinks that the burglar presumably entered the house by breaking through the window, pointing to the broken window glasses on the outside of the house. The policeman noticed that the inside of the house only a few pieces of window glass particles scattered around near the broken window area and told him that it was not a burglary and no outsider has entered his house through that window. What made the policeman so sure? Oh, this one's easy. Yeah, because if you break the window from the outside, more glass is going to fall inside, you know, but since there's only a little bit of glasses inside, it means he broke the window from the inside and threw like a rock or something and there's glass outside. <laughs> this is common sense. A kid can work this out, honestly. Let's see. When a window is broken from the outside by a thief, most of the glass will be found on the inside of the house, not on the outside of the house. Yeah, this one is too easy. A famous chemist was found murdered. The police knew that two people were involved in the murder. They found a note that written by the chemist which read, 23, uh, 20, I can't even read. 26, 3, 58, 28, 27, 57, 16. After reading the note, the police immediately caught the murderers. How? If he was able to write after, I mean, before being murdered, why didn't he just write their names or something? What is this? Let me write some numbers so the police can decipher these codes. Really? Really? Maybe. Maybe the murders are like any last words or something. And he was like, yes, I just want to write some numbers. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. Oh, I still haven't found the answer. Oh, <laughs> I was too focused on the fact that he wrote numbers. I'm not even good at these kind of coding stuff. I don't know. After reading the note, the police immediately caught the murder as hell. Okay, what are the commas? <laughs> Alright, I give up. What is it? The numbers correspond to atomic numbers on the periodic table of elements. Of course! F-E-L-I-C-E-N-I-C-O-L-A-S Therefore, the name of the suspects were Felice and Nicholas. Right, okay, yeah. He couldn't write the names but had to write the numbers. I'll just go with what I thought, you know, maybe the murderers will like any last words. You can write something to your family. And they wrote that. And the murderers are like, okay, cool. He's not calling us out for this. Okay, cool. But little did they know. <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. A Japanese ship was en route to the open sea. The captain went for a shower, removing his ring and keeping it on the table. When he returned, he found it had gone missing. The captain immediately called the three suspected crew members and asked each one where they were and what they were doing in the last 15 minutes. The cook said, I was in fridge room getting meat for cooking. The engineer, I was working on generator engine. The seaman said, I was on the mast correcting the flag, which was upside down by mistake. The radio officer said, I was messaging to a company about the arrival. The navigation officer said I was sleeping in my cabin. The captain immediately caught the thief. How? That's more than three crew members. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I found a flaw in this riddle. They said three. There's five here. Okay. <sighs> mm, I feel like this is 
gonna be obvious <laughs> when I see the answer, but I don't know. What is it? It's a Japanese ship, so it has a Japanese flag, and Japanese flag is the same upside. Oh my gosh, how did I not notice that? Seriously, oh my gosh, it didn't click in my mind, it didn't. That was easy, okay. All right. A guy was found dead in his study by his friend. The victim's friend called the police. He told them that when he was walking by the victim's place, he thought that he would pay him a visit. But as soon as he wiped the frost on the window to peep inside, he saw his body lying on the floor and therefore immediately called the police. The officer immediately arrested him for the murder of his friend. How did the officer know that he was lying? <gasps> Maybe the frost was wiped from the inside. Oh, that's so true because frost never... Wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> I thought I was being smart, but I don't know anymore. Does frost appear on the outside? Isn't it normally only on the inside? I feel like we all know this because every time it was cold or like it was raining or something, you could draw on your window, you know, like inside your car window. <laughs> when you were a kid, you were sitting in the back seat and you would just like scribble away. That. There was no frost on the outside of the window. You can only wipe frost from the inside. So that's why. Yes. Let me see. Frost forms on the inside of the window, not the outside. So he could not have wiped it off to discover his body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who shot her? Cried a man as he rushed into the hospital where his wife was kept. The man was stopped by the police who asked him where he was last night. He told them he was spending the night at a friend's place. He told them that when he called to check on his wife, the maid answered the call and just told him that his wife has been taken to the hospital. And as soon as he heard this, he came running to the hospital. After hearing this, the police immediately arrested him. Why? Hmm. Well, the maid only told him that his wife was taken to the hospital. Like, no one told him how she died, right? Like, what she died from. So, the fact that he knew suspicious. Yeah, maybe that's the answer. No one told him that she was shot, so... So how did he know? <laughs> that's my answer. As soon as he entered the hospital, he cried, who shot her? How would he know that she was shot when no one informed him, so... Yeah. <laughs> a serial killer invited a prospective victim to her place. They ate together and after the meal, she offered her an apple. When she refused, she insisted that they share the apple. So she took the apple and cut it into two halves. Both of them started eating the apple. As soon as her guest ate the apple, she died. If both of them had the same apple, how come one died and one survived? Oh, she must have put poison into one half of it. Can you even do that? Maybe she already cut it into halves and then, yeah, she put the poison or something. <laughs> That's the only logical thing I can think of. Yeah, that's what happened. That's the thing though, we all know if a stranger gives you an apple, there's something fishy. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Let's see. She used a knife coated with just one edge with poison. Oh, when she sliced the apple in two, only the victim's half was poisoned. So like one side of the knife had poison. Oh. Ah, oh, I see. A woman was horrified to find a fly in her tea. The waiter took a cup and went into the kitchen and returned with a fresh cup of tea. She shouted, you brought me the same cup of tea. How did she know? Oh. Yeah, how did she know? Maybe there was a fly leg in there. <laughs> like the lady took out the fly, but maybe there was still a fly wing inside the tea. Maybe because it's warm and like it's not hot, you know? Like tea is supposed to be hot. Yeah, yeah, that's my answer. She had already added sugar to her tea. Oh, so like... Oh, I get it. So the new tea is supposed to be bland, but since the tea is still sugary, she was like, wait, this is the same cup. You didn't get me a different cup of tea. 
How dare you make me drink fly tea? <laughs> Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.